All right, yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be playing as Burgundy. No, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong Burgundy. See, now here we go. Haha, <laughs> my bad. Apologies. We shall be playing Burgundy. Wait, no. Ah, sorry, this is the wrong Burgundy again. No, hold on. Okay, here we go. My bad, wrong mod. Yes, today we're going to be playing as... Uh, as Femboy stat Femboy what is it? Femboy Bergen Long story short, we're going to be playing as Burgundy in 1936. Led by Uber Stolfo. Just waking up. Hold on, let me just turn that off. There we go. Alright. So as you can see, we are led by Uber Stolfo. Esoteric Sist Okay. In the flat <laughs> Yes. Well, you might be asking, why are you doing this? Why are you torturing yourself like this? Well, I just wanted to do... <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, you might be asking, why did I want to do this? Well, the case is simple. I just wanted to make a fun little video, relax, take a shower, stuff like that. Um, and congratulate, I'm getting close to 10,000 subscribers, which I think is pretty cool. I'm excited. I th hope you're excited, but the main thing is I just wanted to play something that someone suggested peop so some people in my Discord want to see and just uh, take the, this, this video to more or less, well, congratulate you all for, for for sticking around, really. I just, it means a lot. Now let's uh, take a shower as Uber Stolfo and do this focus tree. Yes, we'll save this decision. For later. No, no, no. You see, I just took a shower. Now we're looking for a partner. Yes, yes. This is the most important part of any Hoi Ford Focus Tree. The part where you take a shower. Have you noticed? If you'll notice, National Spirits Giga Chad's legacy. Legacy. There's even lore. During the Great War, Giga Chad was a genius general, and eventually Field Marshal, who redefined Burgundian tactics as we know it. Got an okay number of factories. I mean, it's actually kind of shit, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Go for the guy or get the girl. I don't know if you haven't noticed. But we're the femboy stat, Burgund. So I'm gonna have to go for the guys. Oh, look at that. We're actually going to get a boy, a, a, a boyfriend. We'll get one eventually, guys. Don't worry. Well, before we work on... Oh, whoa. It's a fancy mod. Oh, oh, wait, no. Let's avoid that for now. Let's go down femboy supremacy. Yes, naturally. Reggie, Angel, Femboy Hooters. Oh, uh, it's not started to shift the ruling group from femboys to catboys. What? Uh, biggest dickest. I'm gonna take the opportunity to go to war economy. Oh, uh, I didn't do this, but uh, looks like there's a civil war in Germany. Interesting, interesting. Is that caused by me a picking the femboy supremacy focus? Maybe. Ah, uh, yes, we must perfect the femboys. <sighs> a dark world indeed. Uh, yes, in addition to us getting a, a boyfriend, we are perfecting. The femboys, our genetic modification abilities allow us to do this because we are a very advanced country, despite not knowing what artillery or tanks are. Naturally, the first step is to make the thighs thicker. You know what they say, bigger is better. Almost as big as a monster can. And well, now we're deciding to focus the femboy re-education efforts on the Netherlands and, well, the Dutch East Indies. Huzzah! Achieve perfection. Oh, 120 days. That isn't too long. Should be able to take the Netherlands by then. <laughs> Femboys across the nation, Uber Stoffel has called you to arms against the evil imperialist scum that is the Netherlands. Well, I'm just gonna say, the second most wacky mod I've played in the Hoi 4 workshop. Ugh. Of course, we're still working on that whole getting a boyfriend thing, don't worry about that. Oh, do we have planes? Well, my, look at that, we do have planes. Hey, this is turning out better than I thought. And would you look at that, a lovely little encirclement. With the with the help of uh, our adaptable Mega Chad and Felix. <sighs> Someone put effort into this mod. Depending on how good they are, could have taken them a week or two. That was a week or two well spent. I'm going to be honest, this is a lot more funny than it, than it should be. So yes, we are at 62 factories, very good, two full armies, and a war goal against, yeah, France. Will we be able to successfully def battle France? Well, hold on. I'm curious, I'm curious. Could we hold the line against France? 
Oh, it looks like we can. That's pretty good. Now the real question is, can I take my seven twos and hold up? I was a little worried about how big, how powerful this country would be. Oh, okay, I could totally win this war. <laughs> Actually, now I think about it, Paris is literally right here. Oh, I'm completely dumb. Paris is right here. I redirect all my armed forces. See? Easy. Easy dub. GG. That was easy. All right. And yes, I have completed the focus tree. Uh, recruiting femboy foreign legions, of, naturally. It's the French something. Uh, I'll complete this once I, uh, once I get a little bit bigger. Maybe take over a few more people, just naturally. Oh, yes. I completed the femboy modifications. We are now... Uh, Speedy. All right, it was a race against time. I'm just glad that they took basically troops off the front over here, but I managed to take Paris. So hopefully they capitulate? Question mark. No. Should be able to push back this naval invasion, kill a bunch of French people, and the infamous troll division, Division de Infantry, shall be able to <laughs> effectively crush our enemies in the battlefield. You know, I think the reason we're we're losing is because they probably aren't wearing proper military uniforms in the field like all skirts and die highs that isn't exactly something that's gonna cover up shrapnel the infamous battle of the suburbs of paris charles de gaulle versus mega chat oh real quick fun facts with connor the curious con man here if you hold down control and then right click the bubble the division will support attack which means they'll attack but they won't actually move into the tile i know isn't that cool Crazy, that can save you some of the micromanagement and potential encirclements from pushing into a front line. Interesting, oh, yes, and we managed to crush all these guys up here. The casualties are simply mounting for them. It's terrible that 100,000 poor femboys have died in this war, but think of it as a crusade against the ugly, ugh, French. Oh, they went to war with Yugo you Italy went to war with Yugoslavia, which means that, well, look at that. Boom, they're at war with Italy, too. So if I just do a massive frontal assault here, I'll have practically in done a Dunkirk. Oh, you're going to the anti-femboy detention camp. Oh, that was a lovely little encirclement right there. Not to, yeah, pretty much rolling over. And, well... All of France will be under the femboy stat Bergen. Quite lovely. Look at that. More just lovely encirclements right here. Yes. Boom, they're collapsing. All we had to do was kick the French door down and the femboys would start going its Oh, oh that was uh that was quick. See, I'm I was uh, I was, you know, benevolent. I gave them Savoy, Corsica, and I got all of this and their entire overseas colonial empire. I'd say that's pretty fair. I can only imagine that one scene from Inglorious Bastards, but he's wearing a femboy outfit. <laughs> Finally taken all that we've needed from the French and can rightfully claim it as our own after rehabilitating the populace, of course. Well, there we go. We took out the French, obviously. And we got cores on not all of this, just, um... Well, that's kind of obvious. We got cores on Burgundy. But we also got cores on the Netherlands. And as far south as Bordeaux. Port Bor Organon. Does Yugoslavia belong to the Yugoslavian? Let's ask ourselves a better question. Does the future belong to the Yugoslavian? While we strive for greatness and power, they have displayed nothing but hopelessly backwards attitudes, having no history to pride themselves on their directionless Yugoslavia. <laughs> no, but yes, my plan is to, well, perfect timing, declare war on Italy. Yes. Now, I might be asking, what the hell are you doing? It appears as though you're letting the foreign enemy into your land. And if you say, if you guess that, then you are absolutely correct. What I'm trying to do is just basically see how big are they going to get, and how many divisions can I cut off and encircle. You know, the usual stuff that you make, that you usually do when you're trying to goom the AI and win a war quickly with minimal casualties. Uh, are they only advancing to the river? See, encirclements works like a tr okay, maybe not as well as I hope, but you still get the idea, gentlemen. We have a problem. Looks like Astolfo is going to war with the home of anime. I'm gonna have to drop two nukes on them to stop it. Oh, oh sh See, look, double encirclements. Encirclements upon encirclements. Totally because of my skill, and not because the femboy stat is overpowered at all. Huzzah, we got the shitty Italian rifles. Majority of Italian land. All oh, that was all relevant anyways. I'm at war with... Japan. But you know, Japan's kind of at war with like the entire allies and 
the Allies are in war with Germany. So I kind of think that they're going to get, you know, crushed relatively soon. I mean, China kind of stalled here, so I highly doubt that they're going to be able to push anymore. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have my own crusade to go to war to go against, and that is against Yugoslavia and the entirety of the Meter Moors. Am I liking the mod? It's pretty funny. It's going to be honest. It's a pretty funny meme mod, not gonna lie. Was it a good idea to start the war in December? Absolutely not. Yeah, it's been about this for the past four months. <laughs> We've just been constantly attacking. Sure, they've pushed maybe a few tiles, but I managed to fall back to this, like, mountain river line. And if just looking at the casualties, all of these numbers to 200,000. Which, in, 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 in 100,000 that is the capitulated Italy. So... I'm just saying, I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, there's even a whole, there's, uh, we got the previous general, Giga Chad, and the great Air Marshal, Omega Chad. <laughs> I'm gonna take the opportunity to learn how to get a boyfriend. Oh, shit, there's like 30 more of these. Well, oh. Signed a white peace with whom? With me? With no one? Well, I think they signed a white peace, and then they joined the war immediately. What? What? What was that? Oh, India left. I see. And so did Australia. Oh, okay. I can tell you what, they're doing a great job of constantly running into my machine gun fire if that's their, uh, that's their intent. What do the factions look like now? Well, it appears we have the Commonwealth of Free Nations, obviously, and then we have Medium Wars, yes. Oh, Bulgaria. Oh, ah, man, Bulgaria, really? If I can eventually kill the Medium Wars. <laughs> if may maybe the goal is, is that they'll eventually run out of manpower to throw at my divisions. Maybe, eventually. Ah, how to get guys? I've heard boys are fairly low maintenance. I think I'd like a boyfriend instead of a girlfriend. How do I get a guy's attention romantically? Attractive? Smart? Or swole? Not gonna lie, that division is pretty good. So as you can see, yes, we are getting swole. Ah, uh, yes. Provide cooking for boys. That's a phrase that goes, the way to a man's heart is through their stomach. I didn't realize you could put a dating simulator in Hoi 4, but you know what? Should have doubted it when they put tic-tac-toe and loot boxes in here, mods. Oh, wait, I'm fighting my war. Lithuania, Joseph Stalin, did I not even notice the Soviet Union went to... <gasps> See, patience was simply the key. And now... Well, it seems to me that there's a lot of Romanian dudes right here ready to get encircled and killed. Or maybe not as many as I thought, because I lost the encirclement. Shit! Oh, it looks like the femboy work camp is- the non-femboy work camp is gonna be very busy tonight. And yes, we're doing a bit more trolling down here too. Ah, looks like we've gone a big way from just owning a little bit of Belgium to 200 factories. And our progress of getting a boyfriend is a hun almost 100%, it's 92, which I think is pretty cool. So, Soviet Union, what do they do? Oh, they're at war with Germany now, aren't they? Hmm. Wow. We're going on quite the adventure, aren't we? <laughs> to Warsaw. Hey, we made it to Warsaw in one tank. Boom. God, those are ugly borders. Who oh, I need to capitulate? Just Poland. I pr pretty much probably I take these stuff and the they'll be dead. And we take Danzig. Boom, occupied the Danzigers, and there we go. Woo, finally. So we have one more fine fellow to go to war with, and that is the true heirs. <laughs> We're the true heirs to Germany here, the frickin' femboys, hey. Oh wait, let's pop down these guys right here. I'm surprised I can even pop them down all the way over here in Poland. Now we will finally show the world who the rightful heirs to Germany are. Not Bismarck's shenanigans. No, it is Uber Astolfo. Haha. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn, that's quick. Oh. And huzzah, uh, we're at the, the doors of Germany. Turns out this wasn't as big as a crusade as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, they just kind of d d fell. <laughs> I just walked in. No resistance. Huzzah, uh, finally connected our territories. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Sorry, mate, those fancy helmets won't save you this time. Well, we've done it. Our, cha our progress of getting a boyfriend is 100%. We've gotten a boyfriend. Who shall we ask out? Catboys? A jock boy? Or femboy boyfriend? Actually, I don't know. Let's see. Agility, speed, communism, mm -hmm. attack, training, or 
Fem boy. We do cat boy. Why not? Can't I get uh, people that way? No. Well, boom! I chose cat boys. Communism support, agility, and division speed. Probably the worst option. I just realized the communist party is called communist. Ooh woo! Oh, during the celebration, uh, uh after we united all of Burgundy's historical lands. Astolfo let his absolute disdain bordering on hatred for all non-femboys of any other people who are not femboys. Who is this person? Oh, well, I got a new leader. Boom. It's a little I'm benevolent dictator. I don't know. Non-femboy work camps are, seem kind of better. Hold on one second. Uh, it was cool, but uh, let's just stick with Uber Astolfo. Why not? Crack down on, on dissidents. Oh, God. Well, we really just got to take out a freaking Japan. Which is gonna be a pain. I didn't do that. How'd this happen? What? I, uh, I somehow didn't notice this growing tumor on my border and I was just eating cake. Looks like I'm gonna have to go deal with Hungary. Uh... Oh, and, uh, might as well take out Austria too. I don't know why everyone keeps joining the greater co prosperity sphere. I mean, yeah, they took all China. It's so kind of big. Don't have too many factories though. Ah, uh, even when a, in a weird world like this, you can't escape Greece declaring war on Turkey. Ah, <sighs> sorry to burst your bubble, Turkey, but uh, Germany doesn't really exist anymore. And boom, Greater Femboy Reich. <laughs> and, and well, I also have cores on. I thought I had cores on. Yep, there we go. I don't have cores on like this stuff, but I had cores on all of Germany. Which is now not Austria, but Germany, which is pretty sweet if I do say so myself, because I got a sh shit ton of factories now. <laughs> so, what's next? Yeah, I think I might as well just hop down there and take out Switzerland real quick. And I almost forgot. Now that we have a catboy boyfriend, I, uh, it's time for me to lose my f D. Hey. <laughs> Plus 2.5%. Group of population plus 20% political power gain, and it looks like the rest of the world is straight up jealous that I'm losing my. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have not. The power of me dismantling the Czechoslovakian Imagino line forts. I'm managing to use all that concrete to build level 10 forts all along the Soviet border in preparation for an onslaught. Is, is it because look like 10 factories and 10 uh, land forts in 70 days that's pretty fast if you ask me oh real quick before I was curious I decided to uh, uh, go use a little hacks to do this focus make sympathetic governments in occupied territory just to see um, simply what happens if I like click this button are they led by a certain leader? No, that was a waste of my time. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, I just thought that would do something cool. Anyways, yes, I am I'm putting a bunch of uh, naval dockyards into submarines. Of course, i kind of been lacking on the research for to do so, but don't worry. We'll be able to build much better submarines eventually. Uh, eventually. Canada. I think it's a... I think it's a bit late to just now start doing your political stuff, but you know what? You do- Yo, oh, God! Folks, I've done it. Femboy in France. <laughs> I'm mostly just fucking around until I go to war with the UK. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I'm just gonna send them a shit ton of equipment and hope to God that they- Deal with their own civil war. Yeah, that'll do. Hey, Wendell Wilkie, go suck my fat femboy c But fine, take it back. Jesus Christ. All right, I just made another collaboration government in Italy. Let me just take all this stuff. So you know, really kind of nice, realistic. You know, hey, you, you know, I'm all for that. Uh, Tuscany, why not? All right, it's like fascist, so it's like Mussolini, right? Why well, does a black guy lead Italy? You know, in 1943. All oh, right, that's because Mussolini, <laughs> Mussolini still exists. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mussolini, but uh, looks like your homeland's being taken up by Giano Salita, Sal Salita. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are some people 
who diehard believe that Bento Mussolini was black the whole time, so. <laughs> All right, I've been just waiting patient. Oh, Yugoslavia? Nah. I've already made France, Italy, and whoever the hell leads Albania. But today, I believe that, well, hold on, actually, move this guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on Switzerland, which will drag the UK in. And then I'll simply naval invade them with my 171 submarines. <laughs> These 171 submarines range from early submarines to 1940 submarines. Let's just pray to God that they work well. No, oh, cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, that this won't backfire monstrously. Hopefully the entire UK Navy is um preoccupied with Japan. Cause uh well, Japan's still, you know, at war. It's kinda like Britain and Japan are just kind of like chilling, not fighting each other. Well they're fighting each other here. I mean all the uh, all their puppets left. Surprisingly, and these guys are going as we speak. So let's unpause. And uh, I watched uh, I watched an ISP video where he went said one speed was the best speed to go. What if instead of one speed, I did five speed and then prayed the Lord? Eh? Eh? Wait, really? Huh? Well, apparently it's just that easy. And these guys, boom! All right, boom, we got everything. Let's go, 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 go. Wow, uh, that was easy. We're about to take London. Boop. And there we go. Wait, whoa, I saw Spain there. Oh, Italy, Italy. All right, all right. No, we're not, we're not at war if any of them can't manage. Nope, got it, we're all good. All right, sweet. Besides, I'm pretty sure they're the, uh, hold on, only major in the allies. Well, that's good. There we go, bada bing bada boom. Hey, let's go baby! Taking the win here and dabbing on the, the British. Don't mind if I do. And boom. Japan. Still war of Japan, but look at that. There's a red dot over Liverpool and we've taken Britain. Not bad, not bad if I do say so myself. And the next thing we'll do is just uh, I gotta take over Italy, Spain, Portugal, Femboy and Finland does not exist, so I'll annex them, Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. Ah, oh, dear God, that's a lot. Oh, all right, I could go to war with the USSR, I could go to war with Japan, I could go to war with this, go to war with that, but I have more factories than even Wendell Wilkie here. And I could beat his ass any day. So I'm going to call the game here. I like the mod. I really do. I find it really interesting. <laughs> For what can be seen as a joke mod. There was there was effort put into it. And I can appreciate that. Yeah, I broke the focus tree whatsoever. I just wanted to see what this button did. But, yeah. I conquered all of Europe as Uber. So I formed the greater femboy Reich. One more could you want communist support all right thank you for watching really thank you guys for 10k subs i never thought ever i would get to 10,000 subscribers on youtube the platform i spent most of my childhood on but here we are it's just it's insane and i i can't say thank you enough for watching my videos and giving me money through ads and stuff i thank you you're making me rich. I'm kidding. You don't make that much money. So, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I really hope that y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and subscribe. Or else you go to a non-femboy work camp led by Buxy Beige. Yippee! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Special thanks to... Bubblegum Ice Cream, CSP67, Bismarck Lover, Valen Fury, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Epic Golden, Aaron Moon Unit, and a special thanks to Stebbin. Thank you, y'all, and I'll see you next time.